Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, Tom and I are going to tell you exactly why you're going to lose your first SMMA climb. So Tom, I've just signed my first client and this video pops up that says, you're going to lose it. Why? Why am I going to lose my well, first client? You're going to lose it, mate. <laughs> I, know, I know I'm going to lose it, but why? You're going to lose your first client. Um, right. There's a reason why we've actually said this as a video. And this is because me and Harry, when we first did our SMMAs, we both lost our first client um, to, to, to a degree. Yeah. You, we say it because if you're going into SMA thinking that you're going to sign a client, get tremendous results for them, which you might do, and then it's like it's like happily ever after like a fairy tale you know and then you get the next one and they're so happy and then you get the next one and they're so happy and then you you're running 10 grand a month and you're like the next frigging hot shit on the planet um it's completely unrealistic and actually this type of video no one talks about like no one talks about it like you get your first client and you're going to be great and and outreach and you can outsource it and all the shit that people like ram down your throat but actually, you, you, let's just set some real, real, tar like, let's do some real thinking about this. You're going to win a client. And the reason why we say you're going to lose it is because actually you're, you're going to fuck it up. It's kind of like doing your driving test. And all right, I felt I fell multiple times in my driving <laughs> test. But like, it's kind of, you, you have to be expected that you're going to make a ton of mistakes with your first client. You're going to maybe not spend enough on ad spend, which doesn't give you the results. You may not have the right funnel that you're taking people to. You might not um, be able to have a connection with that client and like, you know, just, just be on the same page with them in terms of what their demands are on marketing and what they want from you. You might not communicate your results with them very well. And they go, well, we don't know what you've been doing. You know, that sort of stuff. So, Every everything you do from client to client to client, you have to learn what went well yeah. with, with the project, what didn't go well. Um, and I guarantee like the first client you win, you're just gonna make a ton of fucking stupid uh errors on the on the on the systems, maybe on your funnel, your copy might not have been right, and they they may have just wanted to work with you for one month and you've promised them that you'll get results. That's the other thing, too, is is you're probably when you sign your first client, you probably over promised. And gone, yeah, no, no, we can, I can get you 50 leads in a month. Yeah. How, how do you know you can get them 50 leads? You know, like, how do you know that? And when you then bring in like six, because your campaign wasn't right, then uh, then you've lost the client because you've overpromised. It's just naivety. And that's what I think we're trying to say is go into it as, an, as a learning experience. You win your first client, they've paid you. Well done. Someone has seen enough value in you to pay you $800,000, $1,500 with some ad spend. We trust you. We're going to pay you it. And it's kind of like you have to be expecting that you you need to learn from that process and treat it as a, a real development opportunity. Yeah, uh, I think I think it's an important kind of point to state is the average social media marketing agency keeps a client for one to two months. Yeah. That, that speaks for itself. And then once you get to a position where you're comfortable going in with a minimum of three month contracts, which I recommend everyone do anyway, then your average retention is going to go up to three months. But even then, majority of agencies don't keep them after that three months. Our Tom and I's agency has an average um, customer retention of nine months now, um, which is very, very unusual for a social media marketing agency, especially in 2023. Like That's the average. So we're keeping some clients for over two years. We have current clients that have signed two-year contracts with us. So that's not what we're saying. We're just saying when you first sign that initial client, like you say, there's loads of things that potentially go wrong. It's a learning experience. And we always say in the academy, use that first client as not a trial run because you still want to get them the best results possible, but use that initial period to be like, right, I'm now going to actually get paid to test this firsthand. I'm going to get paid to set up an ad platform, an ad account correctly. I'm going to actually run my first live ad for a business. I'm going to be able to, you know, analyze the ads you know, live with the client, troubleshooting the ads, what's gone wrong. I'm going to create my first funnel. I'm going to send my first invoice. I'm going to, you know, even down to things like chasing invoices for the first time yeah. or, or, or like figuring out a process of how you're going to keep the communication up with a client, getting on regular calls fit, or even fitting in SMMA with your current routine. If you've got an existing job or you're a, or you're a uni or, a, you know, whatever your situation is, 
It's an experience to get paid to do it for the first time. So it's silly for you to think that going into it, I'm going to keep this client forever. And actually going into it with the mindset that you're going to keep it forever is actually going to implement you worse when you lose it because you're going to be more disappointed. If you go into it being like, right, best case scenario, I get paid two months. I get to onboard a client for the first time. I get to do everything for the first time. I still get paid. I get a testimonial and I move on to the next. That's the attitude you should go into every single client with. Not every single client, the first client. But it's like the, and uh, you know, the analogies of me and you've come up with a fucking hilarious at times. But like, <laughs> it's like learning how to play an instrument. You can play it and make a tune, um, but to get it really to make a to make it sound amazing, it takes a lot of practice. And I think there's elements where you have to really practice what you're doing, and and that's why we're just saying like. I would love to hear from people who have won their first client and that client has gone on to be a six month or, or a 12 month or, or a forever client. Um, you know, I think we always come from the, from the viewpoint that, you know, you, me and you do that. You can't keep clients forever. You know, whether you're Nike or Adidas, you know, some people buy Adidas one, one month and be wearing Adidas shoes. And next, next year they're wearing Converse. You yeah. can't always keep all your, your clients and all your customers all the time. Um, yeah, no, and we're just, we're, yeah, we're just, we're just saying you're going to eventually lose your client. Even like, even the, our best clients, mate. If we could list a, a list of our five best clients that we currently have, I know we're going to lose every single one of them. Like, yeah. like well, I know it's physically impossible for not to lose them. Even if we're, even if like we've lost in the past, we actually made a video on it. We lost a two grand a month client because someone else came into the business. Like yeah. stuff like that that's completely out of our control even if you're getting the best results possible, they hire a new manager, they hire a new executive. The first thing they do, cut costs, Tom and Harry are out, even though we were doing amazing. They don't know that yet. So it's it, there's stuff that's completely out of your control and you will lose them eventually, whether that's in six months, 10 months, two years or one month, you will lose it. So just be prepared for it. Yeah, completely. So what before we end the video, mate, what would you say, taking that into consideration that you're going to lose a client, what do you do to combat that? on a daily basis not not necessarily to keep them but how do you manage your agency when you know that's a factor you have to just do everything to the best of your ability and and the other thing about when you're when you're managing your agency is you've got to be able to take some rejection you've got to be able to um, like be patient when you sign your first client and then when you get it you can go about learning more and figuring out like watch more and learn more and get coached by someone who can help you do your best to try and keep that client. But I think you just have to, my, that, that, to answer that question, mate, is to just be open-minded and do not put too much pressure on yourself, but be honest and, 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 and operate with the client um, with the, in the best of your ability, really, I'd say. Yeah, I agree, mate. Yeah, just do your best. Yeah. Do your best and, 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 yeah and it should take care of it if it doesn't and you lose a client and they're not happy or they were happy but you know scenarios and situations are different then you can at least hand on heart say i did my best yeah uh, and i think is it and, and always keep your pipeline full so when you when in the, the when you know you're going to lose a client you're going to lose all of the clients you've got eventually that's why it's so important to never stop outreach i'm someone in the academy and we we get this a lot because of the systems we give them work so well they signed like three clients in the first two weeks and he was like tom and harry do i continue outreach because i can't even deal with the free i've just signed and we said first and foremost you have to sort those clients out initially but get them set up and then get straight back to outreach you yeah. have to keep that pipeline full because if you take your foot off the gas with outreach, with sales, booking new meetings, those clients will eventually leave and then you'll be left with nothing. You need to constantly be replacing that pipeline, keep the people circulating that are eventually going to pull the trigger on your services that's going to keep you you know, generating money and earning more money each month. So I think, I think the question that some people might have, mate, watching this is like, well, why would they leave you if you're doing a good job? And the answer, and that is that is something that's happened. We've had clients who have left us and we were doing a stunning job for them. And the reason why that happens is sometimes businesses change their approach to their own particular business strategy. In fact, they actually want to do different types of marketing. We've had it where this, the particular service that we were making money on was then being done by different location, different people. This dynamic within inside that business had changed. So it, it was out of our control. We've also had it where staff come in and they they think, well, how much are we spending on Tom and Harry? Yeah, I'm sure we can do that internally. 
and then they try to and they can't and and then they want to come back and work with us and there's an awkward conversation there and or we probably have just moved on and we we wouldn't go back there anyway there's there's so many things and a lot of the time it is out of your control Not, yeah. but, that, but that being said there are times where you work with someone for three months and you can't get them results like yeah. that, that's people never talk about this people always say if you're running a marketing campaign if you're running facebook ads in the right way then you're always going to get a business results if you're not getting a business results that means you don't know how to run facebook ads therefore buy my program i'll tell you how to do it and then you'll do it correctly that that doesn't exist there's so much that goes into a successful marketing campaign um and that scene like someone messaged me the other day saying harry i'm working with two businesses in the same industry almost in the same area one of the businesses is getting unreal results one of the other business the other business is getting shocking results why is that and i said there's so much that goes into that what you've got to realize is if you're running the same marketing strategy then the issue isn't your marketing strategy. It's the same with a scientific experiment. And so much of SMMA can come down to a scientific experiment in the sense that if you're doing a scientific experiment and you change one variable, then the impact on the experiment was due to that variable. So when you're looking at two clients and you're running the same marketing campaign to them, there must be a variable that's different outside of your control, which is affecting that business it could be the follow-up it could be how friendly the staff are it could be the service they're both delivering once you get leads through there's so much involved in this you know this industry that people never talk about which is why a client could leave you for example you could work with a dentist for the first six months get them unbelievable results then suddenly you've kept everything the same they stop getting results and they stop getting results because they've hired a new receptionist who now call the leads and she does it in a shit way that's now affecting the convertibility of your ads. And they then don't want to work with you because of that internal change that you had no impact on. So yeah. that's they're the type of things that could make you lose a client. And that's not to say SMMA is now dead or Facebook ads don't work anymore or your agency shit and you should give up. It's just the way it is. Like, it's, yeah. it's just the way it is. Mark, yeah. Marketing shows itself in lots and lots of different ways. Social media marketing is just one aspect of lots and lots of different ways to to market your business. But you know, it's not it's not the it's not the answer and to everything for businesses. Right. And you know, ecom if you're bringing in if you're bringing in business on an ecom site and you're getting a good ROI, great. But you know, it, it's, who stops it from a Tom and Harry coming along going, you can do better than those ads. Exactly. Give it a try, and they go, oh, catch, we might give them a try. You know, it could be that the relationship you've got with your client, you you think's good, but it could be the relationship actually is like, they you know, they could be, they might not, you might not gel together. Yeah. Or it could be that someone's to come in and now you've got a different relationship with this person now and this person's kind of out of the business and you don't vibe with this person as much. And they go, you know, I think we're just going to try something different, try something fresh. You just, there's so many factors out of your control, but yeah. But yeah, well, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Hopefully that was insightful and you can kind of keep an eye on the fact that you're not going to keep them forever. And hopefully that kind of changes how you might potentially be behaving. You might shift your focus on outreach more to, to replenish them quicker, which would be a fantastic idea. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please, please, please make sure you subscribe because we're back posting every single day on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music and all the audio platforms. Um, if you've not watched our previous video, our previous video was on. It was on like how SMMA works in general. Like what what is it? Like why yeah. are people talking about it? Yeah. Uh, why are people negative about it? Why are they thinking it's the best scheme ever you know there's loads of shit that people talk about with SMA we're just trying to tell you what is it how it works and what to watch out for and don't believe some of the shit that people ram down your throat on YouTube so there we go exactly so hope you enjoyed guys watch that video subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m